Upkeep Tutorial for Beginners. Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and welcome to this video on how to use Upkeep. Upkeep is a computerized maintenance management system that helps businesses manage their assets, work orders, and inventory. It is designed to streamline and simplify the process of maintenance management, allowing businesses to save time and money by efficiently handling maintenance tasks. In this tutorial, we will walk you through the basics of upkeep and show you how to get started with your maintenance management needs. We will demonstrate how to create an account and provide an overview of the main features and functionalities of upkeep. Additionally, we will guide you on how to create a work order and request in upkeep. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using upkeep, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description. So go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct homepage. Once you're on the homepage, look to the top right corner of the screen where you will find the Start a Free Trial button. Clicking on this button will lead you to the registration page. On the registration page, you are required to enter several pieces of information. Start with your email address and proceed to create a strong password. Following this, enter your first name, last name, mobile number, the name of your company, and the number of technicians. Once you have successfully filled out these fields, locate and click on the Start a Free Trial button for the second time. Upon providing the correct information, the setup of your account will commence. When this process is complete, you will be redirected to your account dashboard. The dashboard is the central hub of your upkeep account, providing a comprehensive view of your work orders, assets, and tasks. On the left side of the dashboard, you'll find a menu containing various essential tabs, each catering to a specific function. Work Orders tab is your go-to place for creating, managing, and tracking all your assigned tasks. It helps you maintain a clear record of ongoing, completed, and future work orders. The Preventative Maintenance tab aids you in scheduling and organizing maintenance tasks in advance, ensuring your operations run smoothly and equipment stays in optimal condition. The Analytics tab provides a wealth of data about your maintenance operations. It generates reports and visualizations that help you analyze performance, identify trends, and make informed decisions. The Requests tab allows you to manage work requests from your team. It streamlines the process of tracking requests, assigning tasks, and updating request statuses. Shared Work Orders tab enables you to collaborate with other teams or departments within your organization, fostering a cohesive work environment. The Locations tab helps you manage and track assets across different geographical locations, ensuring effective distribution and utilization of resources. The Assets tab gives you control over all your company's assets. It allows you to monitor asset performance, track maintenance history, and forecast future needs. The Parts or Inventory tab keeps track of all your spare parts and inventory, ensuring you always have what you need when you need it. Purchase Order tab lets you manage all your purchase orders, vendors, and invoices in one place, streamlining your process of procuring supplies or services. The Meters tab allows you to monitor and analyze the usage of your assets, enabling you to optimize their utilization and prolong their lifespan. People and Teams tab helps you manage your workforce, assigning tasks to the right person or team, and ensuring effective collaboration. The Vendors and Customers tab helps you manage relationships with your vendors and customers, ensuring that all your processes align with their needs and expectations. The Checklist tab allows you to create and manage checklists for various operations, ensuring that all tasks are completed thoroughly and efficiently. The Categories tab helps you organize your work orders, assets, and tasks into categories for easier management and tracking. The Files tab allows you to store and manage all your documents and files related to your maintenance operations. The Request Portal tab is a platform where your team can submit their work requests, fostering an environment of open communication and efficient workflow. Import-Export tab provides you with the tools to import data from external sources or export your data for backup or analysis purposes. The Data Hub is a powerful tool that allows you to connect your upkeep data with other data sources for comprehensive analysis. Edge tab is a unique feature that provides you with predictive analytics, helping you anticipate maintenance needs and prevent potential issues before they occur. All these features combined make upkeep a comprehensive and efficient tool for managing your maintenance operations. Now, let's see how to create work orders in upkeep. 
Work orders are a crucial component of maintenance management. They help assign and track maintenance tasks, serving as a critical communication tool between different teams. In Upkeep, creating a work order is an easy process that begins by clicking on the Work Orders tab in the left menu, leading you to the Work Orders page. Upon reaching the Work Orders page, locate the Work Order button located at the top right side of the page. Clicking on this button will reveal a right sidebar where all the necessary details for the work order are to be filled. Filling the title field accurately ensures the work order is identifiable. The description field should be used for detailed explanation of tasks to be performed, allowing workers to understand what is expected of them. The option to add an image can be used for additional clarity, a picture of the maintenance issue, for instance. The start date and due date fields are crucial to establish the timeline for task completion. The recurring schedule option allows for the setting up of tasks that repeat on a regular schedule, while estimated duration helps in resource planning by providing an estimate of the time needed to complete the work order. The priority field helps in task prioritization by marking it as low, medium, or high priority. The category aids in the organization of work orders for efficient tracking and management. The worker and additional worker fields are used to assign the work order to the right personnel, while the team field allows for the assignment of the work order to a specific team. The location and asset fields help in the accurate tracking of where the task is to be performed and on what asset. In the event the work order requires the procurement of supplies or services, the purchase order field can be filled. The Add Tasks feature can be used to assign custom tasks for technicians. The attached documents related to the task can be managed using the Files option. Lastly, if the work order requires the technician to sign off upon completion, the Require Signature toggle button can be turned on. Once all the information is accurately filled, click on the Submit button at the bottom of the sidebar to create the work order. Next, let's see how to create a request in Upkeep. Creating a request in Upkeep is a critical practice in maintenance management as it initiates the process of task assignment and tracking. To create a request, the first step is to navigate to the Request tab located in the left menu. This action will direct you to the Request page, where you can view any existing requests, if any have been previously created. To create a new request, you are required to click on the Create Request button located at the top right side of the page. Upon clicking this button, a pop-up window will be displayed, prompting you to input the necessary details for the creation of the request. The title field is to be filled with an identifiable name for the request, providing a brief summary of the issue or task. The description, on the other hand, should contain a more detailed outline of the task, aiding in a comprehensive understanding of the request. The priority field is crucial for task prioritization, indicating whether the task has a low, medium, or high urgency. The option to add an image can further clarify the task or issue by providing a visual representation. Furthermore, any relevant documents related to the task can be attached using the Files option. This might include equipment manuals, safety guidelines, or any other paperwork that might assist in the completion of the request. If you have a saved file that fits the request, it can be added using the Add from Saved File feature. Once all the pertinent details have been provided correctly, the final step to create the new request is to click on the Submit Request button. This systematic approach to creating a request and upkeep ensures an efficient, traceable, and organized method of initiating and managing maintenance tasks. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using upkeep. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can sign up using the first link in the description. I would really appreciate that, thank you. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching, and take